it's the next day. I've got a ton of work done today. Um, I got these thingies on. Um, I forget if I put them on in the last video on the front or not. But, yeah, I got that done. Got the trunk back on. I cleaned this up as much as I could. Same on the other side. Cleaned up the filler neck. I completely forget if it's supposed to sit like that or a different way, but I'm keeping it like that for right now. Got that put on. It's not cleaned up yet. Got the trunk uh, latch thingy hooked up. Not the latch, the strut or whatever you want to call it. I still have my perfect gas tank back here. Might want to keep that forever. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, for some reason, apparently the person who originally owned this car, he didn't want the back bumpers put on, so he completely filled up this hole. Um, I have pictures of it. I'll include them right now. But anyway, it's, yeah, it was really dumb. I could not figure out how to get this hooked up, and then I looked in here, and then th there was a lot of Bondo just kind of spewing out of here, so got a drill bit and another drill bit that I kind of lost um, drilled it out to the perfect size put the bolt in got the bumpers on the, they're in okay shape they definitely need cleaned um, what else did I do I got some more I had a some leftover undercoat so I put some on the bottom of the trunk pan. In the front here, I took up the wiring. I got um, some rust reformer. What or I used whatever I had left of it, which wasn't very much. But um, yeah, I sprayed some of that down here, some in here too, and on those sides. And then I got some undercoat, put it on here and up there too, just. Just for now until I get carpet. And I might like bedline everything eventually. Um, I think I finally got the heater um, knob to work uh, right there. So that's nice. I got the mirror in the back of it. It was really, really rusty before. I kind of just used a wire brush and did that. Cleaned it up. It looks a lot better. I uh, put the wiper blades on. And I'm actually not sure if they're different sizes. This one might look a tiny bit smaller. Or maybe, I don't know. But I might swap them around because you can see this kind of goes over here. And it's falling apart, but it looks nice at least. Still got the original um, inspection sticker. I really want to try seeing if I can keep this on it when I get it roadworthy. Yeah, I used a ton of PB Blaster to get the heater control uh, thingy to work. Um, yeah, I got the rest of the stuff cleaned out in here. Got all the junk cleaned out. Vacuumed it and stuff. I went to the hardware store. Got some um, bolts for the seats. These are expensive. It, they were $1.15 a piece for these bolts. I don't know why they were so expensive, but, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna try to get the hubcaps cleaned up today. Now my dog's whining over here. I don't know why my camera won't autofocus, but... What? Well, she keeps kicking her balls out of reach just so that I throw them back, and she acts like it's an accident. By the way, if anybody needs, uh... Uh, Jeep Cherokee eight and a quarter rear axle um, 50 bucks come get it Needs brakes needs brake lines brake hardware other than that. It's good. It's welded um, Yeah I figured they were easier just to get a new rear axle from the junkyard with brand new brakes instead of um, Just fixing the brakes on that I'm gonna try to get the front bumper cleaned up hubcaps cleaned up and the seats in tonight and maybe I'll put on the mark three doors I think they're yeah put them over here okay here's my other mark four door um, that's pretty smooth and clean this is my other mark three or yeah both of my mark three doors this one's fairly clean it's kind of messed up 
I don't know what's up with my focus, but oh, my autofocus is turned off. It's a little messed up there. It's not the straightest, but it's better than nothing. Here's the original like information. I probably didn't focus, but this door, oh, and the door panels, they're in pretty good shape. A little tear here. Carpet's messed up, but it looks good other than that. And, you know, this door, that's rust. That's a lot of rust coming out of here. This whole thing is really thin. There's a big nick here. Someone got, it looks like they got sideswiped all down here. It's a big crease. The <laughs> door handle, that's all crooked. But the glass is still in uh, okay shape. I might be able to get new door skins. I'm not sure if the everything inside is all messed up or not. I have this old license plate in my room. Um, so I just put it on for now to see what it looks like with the old plate. And I really like this look. Don't look at the tire, or I mean the suspension. Uh, that's all messed up. Whenever like it gets lifted off the ground, it does that with the way that the suspension is designed. But yeah, the trunk, that doesn't sit flush, but oh well. I'm not too worried. I got the seats bolted in and the seat belts put in. Um, I found the shifter knob emblem, so I put that on. If yeah. I don't know what's up with my camera, it doesn't want to focus. This windshield wiper is actually smaller than that one, so I swapped them around, and now uh, this fits a lot better. I have a jumper cable hooked up right now, charging up the battery. Got um, the hood strut, that's bolted in now. Um, I'm not sure what else there is that I did since the last time. I oh, I put the transmission tunnel back on. But other than that, I don't think I did too much. I'm good. Well, that's charging the battery a little bit. I'm gonna put the front bumper on. I have like half of the bolts, so you know that's good enough. I just got home from school, and I'm gonna finish up this video for the Spitfire. This is a couple days later. Um, I didn't really know what else to film before, but um, yeah. So I got my front bumper painted on my Jeep, and. I got the back one painted too with bed liner, but I kind of ran out of bed liner for the back, so I only got the front of it painted. The back is still all scratched up, but yeah, it looks a lot better. You won't see the back of it anyway, so yeah. I like this bed liner look. It used to just be like pure rust. Um, I think I have a picture of both of them that I'll include. But anyway... For the Spitfire, I haven't done a whole lot since my last video. I put on this uh, mirror, but I don't know, it doesn't feel that sturdy. I don't know if I used the right bolts for it, but hey, it's attached and it's good enough for now. And I also put, um, okay, I just scratched the door. <sighs> Need to touch that up now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I painted both the Mark III doors. So you can see this one. It wasn't in too bad a shape. There's a bunch of like, I don't even know what happened there, but it's all wrinkly and everything. But from far away, it doesn't look half bad. But I knocked that jack stand over and just uh, scratched it there. But yeah, I don't know what happened to all this. Like that's not even Bondo. This is the metal that's all messed up. But it's not like rust or anything I could see. So yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> In this side, I got a license plate, and I patched it here, and I kind of like the look of, like, maybe doing, like, a rat rod type of look, like, put the headlights up front with, like, the electrical tape exit on them, um, leave the doors, like, how they are, um, with the license plate patching that. I was gonna patch this, but after I drilled the holes, I realized I couldn't reach the bolt for the inside, so... Yeah, I'm not doing that for right now. Um, it, yeah, now you can see, like, really how bad this door is. You couldn't really see it before with all the mixed match paint, but it's it's pretty bad. I also got this painted up here. I was going to do it with a windshield out, but I figured just for now, since I don't plan on um, fixing, win or putting a new windshield seal in right away, 
I'll just paint it for now um, to make it look look a little bit better. I honestly don't even remember what I filmed the last time, so yeah, this is kind of just all random stuff. Put the antenna on. Um, I have the radio in my Jeep here, so I'm going to try to get uh, the radio and the speaker all sorted out. So, yeah, here's the speaker. It looks to be in decent shape, and I don't know about the radio. It's pretty rough, but maybe it'll work. You gotta find new knobs, which um, I don't know where I can find them, so if anybody has any idea, uh, let me know. I haven't looked online yet, but it's hard to find almost anything for that car, so I feel like this is going to be really tough to find. Maybe I'll just get, like, a, I don't know, somehow make, like, things. Maybe 3D print some. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. I like the look with the old plate. Apparently, I'm able to get a 1968 plate and put it on there and register it to that car, so... I feel like that'll be really cool. It's kind of chilly and windy about that, so sorry if the audio is all messed up. But yeah, I still need to get my shifter bushing fixed. Um, I think it's in gear right now, and yeah. Oh, I also fixed the e-brake. I got that all hooked up with the random bolts that I found sitting around. And just for right now, I think I'm gonna um, fix that little scratch that I had. That I made. Good as new. <laughs> Can't even see it's there. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be a big shame if uh, this beautiful door, if it had a scratch in it. But yeah, it looks like a little bit of rust coming through here, so you know, gotta fix that up. That's good. Gotta wait till the paint's running, then you, then you know it's all good. I also got a little bit of painting done under the hood with just some random paint that I had laying around. Um, flat black, the same color, but it was just some extra that I had. I got the uh, windshield motor, or wiper motor, I mean. Um, that's all painted up and looking a lot better. It was really d disgusting looking before. But, yeah, now it's a lot better. Uh, clean up the wiring harness so make it look better. Probably wire brush that, get the rust off. Yeah, I painted all this. I painted in the battery box and put some uh, rust reformer in so that it doesn't. Since there's already a little bit of a hole, I don't think this one. Yeah, I think I can take this battery out to show you the rust. Yeah, there's a little bit of hole there and one there going through to the passenger uh, floor. And that's a drain hole, I think, for, like, if water gets in, it's supposed to go out. But apparently it's pretty common for them to rust out there, so. Yeah, it's still, like, uh, solid, so I'm not worried about that. It's been sitting for um, quite a long time, and, like, the battery terminal, they're not even tight. I'll see if it wants to start. Battery's probably dead. I had it sitting on a charger a couple days ago, but... Yeah, it's probably dead by now because something's using power whenever the car's off. I don't know what it is, but I need to figure that out. Yep, it's dead. On this side, I got some more painting done. I got... I put some tape over that to cover it up, but... Um, so that it's fresh. But this was already painted over, so I painted over that. And... Yeah, it looks pretty clean. It'll look nice whenever I... Gonna eventually take out the uh, brakes, clutch, the coil, everything like that, and uh, sand down this whole area, paint it since it was starting to rust out in the little cracks where some brake fluid might have got. So, uh, yeah. So, if you have any of these emblems I'm missing, uh, let me know. I'll buy them off of you. Got the TR that I'm missing in the Mark III. Um, Thing there that's broken so yeah I'd like a new one of them and it was like I think it would have been like 60 bucks for just the three things I'm missing so if I got, got them like remanufactured so if you have any you let me know I don't know what the issue is with this door but it doesn't really want to latch itself like kind of have to 
like push up here for it to latch. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what it is, but it closes. That's all that matters. And also, I forget if I recorded this before, but I sanded down some stuff like that with her. I used a wire brush to clean it up, make it look a little bit better. But yeah, I think that's all that I'm going to record for this video. So if you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. And I'm going to be recording another video maybe later today. I'm not sure. But if you saw my Jeep, I had a whole bunch of oil and stuff. So I'm going to be doing an oil change for the first time since before 1977. So stay tuned and uh, be ready to watch for that video coming out soon.